Good evening, friends. This is Monday evening, March 30th. And I come to you uh, as, a, as a minister of the gospel who, who wants to remind you that, that we are a people of hope, that in Christ there is hope. And yet, I don't want to be a fraud. I want to, I want to be honest and, and just admit that, uh, that these days make me sad the way perhaps they make you sad. I'm a bit troubled and heavy-hearted these days as, as we don't know what's going on and we don't know how much longer uh, this unknown will, will sort of loom over us. Um, so I, I, I only know to take you uh, to one place uh, at a time like this, and that is to the words of Jesus. Um, what we do know is that if we are going to claim to be followers of Christ, <laughs> Then in the hard days, uh, we hold on to the hope that Jesus can bring. That we are a people of hope. Uh, that, that we are not Christ's followers simply because we, we claim to believe some, some list of truths. But we actually lean into Jesus in the difficult times. We slow down. Uh, we... We take off the, the air about us that we sometimes wear. We, we quit trying to perform. And we just, like a child leans into his, his parent, we, we lean into the Father and, and we trust the words of Jesus. Uh, Jesus in John 17 said, Listen, in this world you will have trouble. He said, But take heart. I have I have overcome the world. In Matthew 15, Jesus said, are you weary? He said, come to me. Come to me, all who are weary, all who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So as hard as it is for me to attempt to rest in times of trouble, as hard as it is for me to to attempt to, to meditate on the promises of the Father uh, when times seem to be so crazy. That is my deepest goal right now, to, to lean into the Father, to, to, to rest as I dive into his word and as I spend time in prayer. So I invite you, uh, it, it's maybe counterintuitive when times are crazy, uh, trying to slow down and and breathe deeply and meditate on, on God and his word. It may seem counterintuitive, like, I can't do that. Times are too crazy, but that's, a, that's precisely what we need right now. It's precisely how you need to lead your family as well, if you have a family. It's precisely how you need to lead your closest friends right now. Let us, let us slow down and let us contemplate what is God doing? How is God for us in the midst of uh, this difficult time? I was out yesterday, late evening, Sunday evening. I was, I was out on the bay with the appropriate permission. I was out on the bay just, just for a brief amount of time with my three sons. And there was really no one else out there, very few, very few people out there. And um, we just spent some time um, looking at the sea grasses and looking at the condition of the bay. And I said to my sons, I said, this, the, the lower Laguna Madre, the mother lagoon, I said, this is a time of healing for the lagoon. I said, as, as, as the boat traffic is all but, but subsided and, and very little fishing is going on in the bay right now, I said, this is a time for the seagrass to, to regain a foothold and to grow stronger. This is time for the... For the uh, the, the, uh, the speckled trout, who are a, a fragile species, to, 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 to take advantage of the quietness and, and the lack of foot traffic. I said, the bay will be stronger. The, the Mother Lagoon is, is healing up and will be stronger in the days ahead as a result of this. I came home and I thought to myself, perhaps this is a period of healing and health and wholeness for me as well. A time where I can emotionally and spiritually regain a foothold. You know, God, God says that, that a spiritual person 
is like a tree that is planted by streams of living water and, and our roots go down deeper and deeper. And as a result, in everything that we do, we prosper. That's Psalm 1. So I've just been considering for myself and for my family, how might this be a time, not of sorrow and panic and, and want and scarcity, but how might this be a time of, of healing? How might this be a season in which, which we grow, which we grow stronger and which our, our, our roots grow down deeper into the soil of God's goodness? What might God have for me, for us? So I, I invite you on that same journey. Perhaps, uh, perhaps the journey begins for you tonight, for you as an individual. If you have family, perhaps right there in the living room, uh, you as a family begin to ask God, okay, God, we're not going to panic. Uh, we're not going to, to be scared. Uh, we're going to we're gonna lean in. We're going to press in. We're going to ask you, God, what do you have for us? Um, we're slowing down. Uh, we've, we, we're obligated now to slow down. We've got some time on our hands. God, what is it that you want to do? Uh, what journey do you want to take us on, God? Well, what, what, maybe there's an issue in my life that, that I've been unwilling to unpack. I've been unwilling to, to deal with. Um, maybe you've got some sort of baggage that, that you've just been refusing to open. And maybe this is that time. Maybe for you, that's what God has purposed during this period. I don't know what his grand scheme and his grand purpose is through this coronavirus. I have no idea. I have no idea. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pretend to guess. But for you individually, perhaps that's a question you can ask. Ask God, what is it that you have for me that's purposeful, that's healing, that is this towards some deeper, grander goal? What is it that you want to do? And maybe you know, if you're honest with yourself, maybe you know what it is God wants you to deal with in these coming days. Well, you've got the time. Um, and, and, and God is, is ready and, and willing to, to, help you, to help you work through it, to help you find healing. Go to him. As a family, go to him. I invite you on that journey in these coming days. It's been good to, to, to be with you this evening. Uh, tomorrow night we have an online prayer time. Wednesday is man church. And then Thursday I'll be dropping another devotional just like this. Love you guys. Lydia and I are praying for you. Um, better days are ahead. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay.